Identifiers are the names we give to uh, things, uh, variables, methods, classes in our Java programs. So um, there's some rules for creating these names. And so we're going to talk about these identifiers and what we can use as far as the names of them go. So generally names of uh, these identifiers can start with any upper or lowercase letter, uh, the underscore or the dollar sign, and then the digits 0 through 9. Uh, we can't start with the digit, we can start with any of the other characters. Um, there are some special reserved words that we can't use. Um, those are part of the programming language. So anything like the word class, which we use, uh, can't be uh, the name of something. So we'll see some examples of that. Um, so here are some, why don't you just go through and uh, look at these and see if these are legal um, names for things to try things out. Um, now we will be using um, some different uh, capitalization in a certain way they call what it, they use the term camel case for a lowercase uh, capital uh, starting with a lowercase letter and then whenever you get to a new word doing an uppercase letter so here we have people on the bus where a capital O on the for on and bus um, this is good for names of variables uh, that we'll be using and also methods uh, we'll be referring to a simple uh, programming style uh, or programming uh, convention uh, and we'll be using the simplified blue j1 uh, in this class so just like they say in the descriptions here we want very uh, good meaningful names for things uh, classes will start with a capital letter uh, methods and variables will start with a lowercase letter in all other in in, in all cases uh, Whenever we come to a new word as part of a compound word, we will uh, do it uppercase. So number of items, we'll have of and items here. Um, there's one other thing, constants, and we'll see how to declare those later on, will be all uppercase. So again, just go through the simple unit uh, to learn what are some legal names uh, for declaring variables. Uh, these what we call identifiers and here's a list of some of the reserved words that you'll see <clears throat> uh, that so for example you can have a um, variable or a method called break because that's a special reserved words um, and some of these you just run into by accident you may have a variable for a, a long shot and a short so shot you know, may have long and short but uh, short is actually a reserved word for a type of variable so these are your long words you might want to just look through those to get a basic familiarization for them so.